a bench tamer in the castle, Desdemona in bed asleep, a light burning, enter Othello. It is the cause. It is the cause, my soul. Let me not name it to you, you chaste stars. It is the cause. Yet I'll not shed her blood, nor scar that whiter skin of hers than snow and smooth as monumental alabaster. Yet she must die, else she'll portray more men. Put out the light, and then put out the light. If I quench thee, thou flaming minister, I can again thy former light restore, should I repent me. But once put out thy light, thou cunning pattern of excelling nature, I know not where is that Promethean heat that can thy light relume. When I have plucked the rose, I cannot give it vital growth again. It must needs wither. I'll smell it on the tree. Kissing her. Ah, balmy breath that does almost persuade justice to break her sword. One more. One more. Be thus when thou art dead, and I will kill thee and love thee after. One more. And this the last. So sweet was ne'er so fatal. I must weep, but they are cruel tears. This sorrow's heavenly, it strikes where it doth love. <gasps> she wakes. <clears throat> oh, who's there? Othello? I, Desdemona. Will you come to bed, my lord? Have you prayed tonight, Desdemona? Why, my lord? If you bethink yourself of any crime unreconciled as yet to heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. Alas, my lord, what do you mean by that? Well, do it, and be brief. I will walk by. I would not kill thy unprepared spirit. No, heaven forfend, I would not kill thy soul. Talk you of killing? I, I do. Then heaven have mercy on me. Amen, with all my heart. If you say so, I hope you will not kill me. <sighs> and yet I fear you, for you are fatal then when your eyes roll. So why I should fear I know you not, since guiltiness I know not. But yet I feel I fear. Think on thy sins. They are loves I bear to you. Aye. And for that thou diest. That death's unnatural that kills for loving. Alas, why gnaw you so on your nether lip? Some bloody passion shakes your very frame. These are poor tents, but yet I hope, I, I hope they do not point at me. Peace and be still. I will so. What's the matter? That handkerchief which I so loved and gave thee, thou gavest to Cassio. Sweet soul, take heed, take heed of perjury. Thou art on thy deathbed. I, but not yet about, and I, but not yet to die. Yes, presently. Therefore, confess thee freely of thy sin, for to deny each article with oath cannot remove nor choke the strong conception that I do groan withal. Thou art to die. Mercy on me. I say, Amen. And have you mercy too. I never did offend you in my life, never loved Cassio, but with such general warranty of heaven as I might love, I never gave him token. By heaven I saw my handkerchief in sand. O oh, perjured woman, thou dost stone my heart and makes me call what I intend to do a murder which I thought a sacrifice. I saw the handkerchief. He found it then. I never gave it to him. Send for him hither. Let him confess a truth. He hath confessed. What, my lord? That he hath used thee. How? 
unlawfully? I. He will not say so. No, his mouth is stopped. Honest Iago have taken order for it. Oh, my fear interprets. What, is he dead? Had all his hairs been lives, my great revenge had stomach for them all. Alas, he is betrayed and, and I am done. Out, strumpet, weeps thou for him to my face. Oh, banish me, Lord, but kill me not. Down, strumpet. Kill me tomorrow. Let me live tonight. Nay, if you strive. But half an hour. Being done, there is no pause. But while I say one prayer. It is too late. He stifles her. My Lord, my Lord. Oh, what home, my lord, my lord! What noise is this? Not dead? Not yet quite dead? I that am cruel am yet merciful. I would not have thee linger in thy pain. So, so. Oh, my lord, my lord! Who's there? Oh, good, my lord, I would speak a word with you. Yes, tis Amelia. By and by. She's dead. Tis like she comes to speak of Cassio's death. The noise was here. Huh? No more moving. Still as a grave. Shall she come in? Work good? I think she stirs again. No. What's best to do? If she comes in, she'll sure speak to my wife. My wife. My wife. What wife? I have no wife. Oh, insupportable. Oh, heavy hour. Methinks I should be now a huge eclipse of sun and moon, and that the affrighted globe shall yawn at altercation. I do beseech you that I may speak with you. Oh, good, my lord. I had forgot the. Uh, oh, come in, Amelia. Soft. By and by. Let me the curtain straw. Where art thou? Unlocks the door, enter Amelia. What's the matter with thee now? Oh, my good lord, yonder's foul murder's done. What, now? But now, my lord. It is the very error of the moon. She comes more nearer earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Cassio, my lord, hath killed a young Venetian called Rodrigo. Rodrigo killed, and Cassio killed. No, Cassio is not killed. Not Cassio killed? Then murder's out of tune and sweet revenge grows harsh. Oh, falsely, falsely murdered. Alas, what cry is that? That? What? Oh, and alas, that was my lady's voice. Help, help, oh, help. Oh, lady, speak again. Sweet testimony. Oh, sweetness, speak. A guiltless death I die. Oh, who hath done this day? Nobody. I myself. Farewell. Commend me to my kind lord. Oh, farewell. Why, how should she be murdered? Well, alas, who knows? You heard her say herself, it was not I. Well, she said so. I must needs report the truth. She's like a liar gone to burning hell. Twas I that killed her. Oh, the more angel she, and you the blacker devil. She turned to folly, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil. She was false as water. Thou art rash as fire. To say that she was false, oh, she was heavenly truth. Cassio did top her. Ask your husband else. Oh, I were damned beneath all depth and hell, but that I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity. Thy husband knew it all. My husband? Thy husband. That she was false to wedlock? Aye, with Cassio. Nay, had she been true, if heaven would make me such another world of one entire and perfect chrysolite, I'll not have sold her for it. My husband? Aye, twas he that told me first. 
An honest man he is and hates the slime that sticks on filthy deeds. My husband? What needs this iteration, woman? I say thy husband. He, woman, I say, thy husband. Dost understand the word? My friend, thy husband. Honest, honest, Diago. If he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a grain a day. He lies to the heart. She was too fond of her most filthy bargain. Ah. Do thy worst. This deed of thine is no more worthy heaven than thou was worthy earth. Peace, you were best. Thou hast not half that power to do me harm as I have to be hurt. O oh God, O oh dope, as ignorant as dirt, thou hast done a deed. I care not for the sword, I'll make thee known. Though I lost twenty lives, help, help, ho, oh, help! The Lord hath killed my mistress! Murder, murder! Enter Montano, Guardiano, Yago, and others. What is the matter? How now, General? Oh, are you come, Iago? You have done well, that men must lay their murders on your neck. What is the matter? Disprove this villain, if thou beest a man. He says thou toast him that his wife was false. I know thou didst not. Thou's not such a villain. Speak, for my heart is full. I told him what I thought, and told no more than what he found himself was apt and true. But did you ever tell him she was false? I did. You told a lie, an odious damned lie, upon my soul, a lie, a wicked lie. She falls with Cassio, did you say with Cassio? With Cassio, mistress, go to, charm your tongue. I will not charm my tongue. I am bound to speak. My mistress here lies murdered in her bed. Oh, heavens forbid. And your reports have set the murder on. Nay, stare not, masters. It is true indeed. Tis a strange truth. A monstrous act. Villainy, villainy, villainy. I think upon it. I think I smell it. Oh, villainy. I thought so then. I'll kill myself for grief. Oh, villainy, villainy. What? Are you mad? I charge you. Get you home. Good gentlemen, let me have leave to speak. Tis proper I obey him, but not now. Perchance, Iago, I will never go home. Oh. Oh. She was foul. I scarce did know you, uncle. There lies your niece, whose breath indeed these hands have newly stopped. I know this act shows horrible and grim. Poor Desdemona, I am glad thy father's dead. Thy match was mortal to him, and pure grief shore his old thread in twain. Did he live now, this sight would make him do a desperate turn. Yea, Curse his better angel from his side, and fall to reprobation. Tis pitiful, but yet Iago knows that she with Cassio hath the act of shame a thousand times committed. Cassio confessed it, and she did gratify his amorous works with that recognizance and pledge of love which I first gave her. I saw it in his hand. It was a handkerchief, an antique token my father gave my mother. Oh, come, hold your peace. Twill out, twill out. I peace. No, I will speak as liberal as the North. Let heaven and men and devils, let them all, 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 cry shame against me. Yet I'll speak. Be wise and get you home. I will not. Iago offers to stab Amelia. I, your sword upon a woman? Oh, thou dull lord. That handkerchief thou speaks of, I found by fortune, and did give my husband. For 
that the solemn earnestness more than indeed belonged to such a trifle, he begged of me to steal it. Villainous whore! She give it, Cassio, no. Alas, I found it, and I to give to my husband. Bill, thou liest! By heaven, I do not, I do not, gentlemen. Oh, murderous coxcomb! What should such a fool do with so good a woman? Are there no stones in heaven but what serve for the thunder? Precious villain! He runs at Iago from behind, stabs Amelia, and exits. The woman falls. Sure, he hath killed his wife. Ah, I, oh, lay me by my mistress' side. He's gone, but his wife's killed. Does a notorious villain take you this weapon? which I have here recovered from the moor. Come, guard, guard the door without him. Let him not pass, but kill him rather. I'll, I'll after that same villain, for tis a damned slave. Exeat Montano and Graciano. I am not valiant neither, but every puny whipster gets my sword. But why should honor outlive honesty? Let it go all. What did thy song bold, lady? Hark, dost thou hear me? I will play the swan and die in music. Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Moor, she was chaste. She loved thee, cruel Moor. So come my soul to bliss as I speak true. So speaking as I think, I die, I die. I have another weapon in this chamber. It is a sort of Spain, the ice brook's temper. Oh, here it is. Uncle, I must come forth. If thou attempt it, it will cost thee dear. Thou hast no weapon, and perforce, perforce must suffer. Look in upon me then and speak with me, or naked as I am, I will assault thee. Re-enter Gratiano. What is the matter? Behold, I have a weapon. A better never did itself sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that with this little arm and this good sword, I have made my way through more impediments than 20 times your stop. But, oh, vain boast, who can control his faith? Tis not so now. Be not afraid, though, you do see me weapon. Here is my journey's end, here is, is my butt, and very sea mark of my most utmost sail. Do you go back dismayed? Tis a lost fear. Man with a rush against Othello's breast, and he retires. Where should Othello go? Now, how dost thou look now? O oh, ill-starred wench, pale as thy smock, when we shall meet at Compte, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold, cold, my girl, even like thy chastity, O oh, cursed slave, whip me, ye devils, from the possession of this heavenly sight, blow me about in winds, roast me in sulfur, Wash me in steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Oh, Desdemona, Desdemona, dead. Oh, oh, oh. Enter Lodovico, Montano, Cassio carried in a chair, and officers with Iago prisoner. Where is this rash and most unfortunate man? That's he that was Othello. Here I am. <clears throat> Where is that viper? Bring the villain forth. I look down towards his feet, but that's a fable. If the thou beast a devil, I cannot kill thee. Wounds, Iago. Wrench his sword from him. Uh, I, I, I bleed, sir, but, but not kill. I am not sorry neither. 
I'll have thee live, for in my sense tis happiness to die. O oh, thou Othello, thou wert once so good, have fallen in the practice of a damned slave. What shall be said to thee? Why, anything. An honorable murderer, if you will, for not I did in hate, but all in honor. This wretch hath part confessed his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassio's death? Aye. Dear General, I never gave you cause. I do believe it, and I ask your pardon. Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? Demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I will never speak word. What? Not to pray? Torments will open your lips. Well, thou dost best. Sir, you shall understand what hath befallen, which, as I think, you know not. Here is a letter found in the pocket of the slain Rodrigo, and here another, the one of them imports the death of Cassio be undertook by Rodrigo. Oh, villain! Most heathenish and most gross. Now, here is another discontented paper found in his pocket too, and this, it seems, Rodrigo meant to have sent this damned villain but that the like Iago in the interim came in and satisfied him. Oh, the pernicious caitiff. How came you, Cassio, by that handkerchief that was my wife's? I found it in my chamber, and he himself confessed, but even now, that there he dropped it for a special purpose, which wrought to his desire. Oh, fool! 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 There is, besides, in Rodrigo's letter, how he upbraids Iago, that he made him brave me upon the watch, whereon it came that I was cast, and even but now he spake. After long seeming dead, Iago heard him. Iago set him on. You must forsake this room and go with us. Your power and your command is taken off, and Cassio rules in Cyprus. For this slave, if there were any cunning cruelty that can torment him much and hold him long, it shall be his. You shall close prisoner rest till that the nature of your fault be known to the Venetian state. Come, bring him away. Stop you. A word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they note no more of that. I pray you in your letters, when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am. Nothing extenuate, nor set down aught in malice. Then must you speak of one that loved not wisely, but too well. Of one not easily jealous, but being wrought perplexed in the extreme of one whose hand, like the base Indian, threw a pearl away richer than all his tribe of one whose subdued eyes, albeit unused to the melting moon, drop tears as fast as the Arabian trees, their medicinal gum. Set you down this, and say besides, that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and a turbaned Turk beat a Venetian and traduced the state, I took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus. Oh, it's one period. All that spoke is marred. I kissed thee ere I killed thee. No way but this. Killing myself to die upon a kiss. Falls on the bed and dies. Thus did I fear, but thought he had no weapon, for he was great of heart. Oh, Spartan dog, more fell than anguish, hunger, or the sea. Look on the tragic loading of this bed. This is thy work, the object poison sight. Let it be hid, Gratiano. Keep the house and seize upon the fortunes of the moor, for they succeed on you. 
to you, Lord Governor, remains the censure of this hellish villain, the time, the place, the torture, oh, enforce it, myself will straight abroad into the state this heavy act with heavy heart relates. Exit. Yes.